What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am here in Shanghai right now, and the first place that I'm visiting is having to be Infinity Studio office. And I got here pretty late because of the delay and everything. But anyways, we are here now, so let's check out their office. If you have never seen them before, you definitely need to see this. The first thing that I saw when I walk in here is this Bruce Lee life-size bust. This is actually the first time I've ever seen this piece in person. And man, does it look incredible. Let's check out the details on the base here with the dragon like that. And the nunchuck. Uh, I believe this is probably a prototype. I'm not sure what the nunchuck is made of. But yeah, this is mixed media material. Silicone glass eyes, and artificial hair. Just look at that, man. Wow, awesome. And then, of course, the Pattinson Batman. And we all know the part two is coming out in 2026. I have this, of course, so we're not gonna go over it that much. You guys probably seen my review, and this is Terminator, this is Arnold when he's old, but I believe this is the prototype, so the hair is a little bit messy, just kind of sticking out. But you can definitely see all the details on the silicone here, all the battle damage. Nice, man. Yeah, this is the first time for me seeing this one in person again. Yeah, I like that, man. Yeah, except, yeah, I think I've seen the review before, like where this part is supposed to be like a silicone, but yeah. See, that's where the joint is, but yeah. It would have been so much better if it was silicone, but other than that, it looks great. If you have seen the production photo of it before, it looks much better with the hair, but this is, you can definitely tell that it's him for sure. All right, we've seen this one at Dojo before, reviewed it. This one I haven't seen. Again, not a big fan of uh, anime, so I don't know much about any of them, but looks really cool, man. The base, I think they did a very good job on the paint. Yeah, just very dynamic, dude. That actually is pretty cool. Evangelion. Again, first time seeing this one. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not a really big fan of the series though. Yeah, if you like this stuff, let me know. And I've seen this one before. Just don't remember the name. This is a half scale. Cool, cool. Very nice looking piece. All right, let's go check this out. Gandalf, right here. This is a half scale silicone. Artic artificial hair, all mixed media as well. Look how tall the sword is. It's all the way up there, man. Wow. Cool base. Not sure if it lights up, but it looks like it, right? Let me know in the comment if you do, or if you have this one. But yeah, this does look cool. Not, I don't really collect uh, a lot of the ring stuff, but just look at that face. Man, they do a really good job on this. And then the life-size Sauron bust. Man, this thing is so huge. 
It's crazy, man. Whew. That is bigger than the Thanos life-size bust. That's just ridiculous. Well, good thing I'm not really a big fan of it. Otherwise, I would need a lot more space than I do. All right, and then we got League of Legends stuff that we've seen at the con. Uh, Dragon Ball Z and um, the... What do you call it? Three Kingdom. Yeah, okay. The Three Kingdom stuff. Man. They're pretty cool. We've seen all of them before. If you're a fan of these, that's cool. I only know Guan Wu here. There you go. All right, and then there are a little bit smaller scale of everything here. Again, sorry, I don't know much about them. Nor this girl right here. I have no idea who she is. But it does look cool. Is it silicone? Nope. Uh, another League of Legends stuff. This is smaller scale. Oh, one six scales. Three kingdom in one six. And you got Monkey King. That's cool. This look like a one four scale here. Very nice scope on this feather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um man, I think it's that's Monkey King, right? Yes. Okay, so when he blow on his hair, he got a bunch of his little monkey, monkey coming out. So this is them, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're going to see it here. That's cool. Got a unicorn bust. This is blondes and gold. And then you got the white one as well. Yeah, look at that detail. Looks really good. And an, another... Nerzar. What? Nerzar. Nerzar? Yes. It's another like kind of mist. Mystic God. Mystic God, okay. That's cool. Translucent base. Yeah. You see how they did a pretty good job on the paint here for the base, which a lot of company I find kind of lacks off. And I don't know who this is. It's Yang Jian. Yang this one kind of looks cool. I like that. Wow. Look at that big diorama. Oof, it's a big piece. Is that a Greyhound? Very cool. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's walk over here. And this is, what's his name? Legolas, yep, Legolas, I believe I've seen this one before in person. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the half-scale silicone, I think it looks really good, man. Nice, except like the hairline. The hairline looks a little bit fake. Mm -hmm. yeah. Other than that, looks really good.
when the hand is silicone as well. And this is <laughs> this is uh, just made for show, right? For League of Legends, they do make like the one four scale of it, but this one, Fiona. Fiona. Okay, this one they made it silicone head with glass eyes and artificial hair, which looks so good. But it's not for sale, guys. Just awesome. All right, and then you got Harley Quinn. I have this one. And of course, Wonder Woman. One of the best life-size bust of anyone. Henry Cavill, the first one that I didn't get, I got the black suit one. This one is still cool, but I still prefer to have him just having the Superman suit. And Heath Ledger Joker. Seen this one at Dojo already. Took a lot of photos of it, and I think this is probably the best looking Joker bus I have ever seen. Look just like him. And all best selling, I would believe so, yeah. Man, that's great. And the base is also, it, does it light up inside? No. I thought there might be something inside, but okay. But there's a lot of elements like the knife, the why so serious. Oh, and the mask that you can actually wear too, which is cool. Yeah, this is a very impressive piece for sure. And this one, I have never seen this one in person either. The Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Hmm. Well, the new movie is coming out next week, which I am going to be seeing as well. But not really my favorite Joker out there, just because he's not, you know, tied into any other characters, but he does a really good job on the acting, and I feel like this one just, I don't know, it just captures how he looks so sad. Very cool. And might need some hair work. Looks good. All right. This is Athena. Leaf in one four scale. Have seen this one in Dojo. And you got Evangelion right here in a smaller scale. And Jurassic Park, Jurassic World bust. This is the mini bust. Still looks really good though. And I'm not sure what you call this. Is this glass eyes? I believe it, it is glass eyes. Yeah, yeah. Looks cool, man. And this kind of like an auditorium where they present their uh, projects or whatever, I believe. So, yeah. Uh huh. For the, for the bosses. For the bosses. Okay. Okay, that's cool. And you got Aquaman over here. Yeah, you see them all? <laughs> yeah, you would have this. Need some work on their hair for this guy, but yeah. Another one of the best bus out there. This one is a prototype, I think. Very cool. And what's this guy's name? Ring Wrath. Ring Wrath. Ring? Ring Wrath. Ring Wrath? W-R-A-I. Okay. Ring Wrath. From the Lord of the Ring. Lord of the Ring. K. 
character, but there's nothing inside here, right? Yeah. Nope. No. Okay. But the sword. Uh huh. Yeah. Did they ride the horse as well? Okay. Okay. Very cool. But yeah, I think the base needs a little bit more work. But it gives a uh, pretty good elements to the bust over here. How much was it? This one. This one. This is not expensive. Around one thousand. Nine hundred. Oh wow. Okay, for nineteen hundred, I think, <laughs> for a lot of the ring fan, it is definitely worth it. So much cheaper than uh, every other one. Yeah, because of the silicone. Yeah. Silicone element. Right, right. Awesome. So that is it for Infinity Studio showroom, and I'm just gonna give you a glimpse of their office. We'll see, man. upstairs where their office is and the first thing that you see when you walk in is the life-size Aquaman it's the same bust but they just kind of made the lower half here <laughs> man it's crazy looking dude and the one thing that I really like is how they made the hair just kind of wet so yeah I gotta take note on this I need to do this with my bust for sure looks so much better Looks like he just came straight out of the water. Oh, yeah, man, nice. And then got Wonder Woman, same thing. The half, upper half of the bus, they just made the silicone leg, I believe. No, 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 it's not silicone. That's polystone legs with the base and the shield. 
That's nice, man. So it looks like she is looking up. A little bit. Yeah, get ready to fight, but just a little bit weird <laughs> on the pose, but still okay. It's a little bit messy in here because they have to move all this stuff and get ready for the Wonder Festival. There's a couple of stuff displaying right here where the hall is and got some artwork right here you can see the design and everything then we come in over here to where the main office is but I can't show you all the details just want to give you guys a little peek at that office just look how huge that is so many stuff well, that's it. All right, and next to their office, there's actually a school that they opened up. It's called Dream Chaser. And a lot of students can just come here and just learn how to design, draw. And this is their classroom right here. Oh, and this is another classroom. Very cool. Right. That's awesome. Yeah, that is pretty nice and of course, you got Henry Cavill bus right in here too, to inspire him. All right guys, that's all I can show you at Infinity Studios office and the showroom, but we're gonna head out and get something to eat because we haven't eaten anything since morning. Right now it's about like 8 p.m. So we're gonna go, but definitely gonna go check out Wonder Fest. It's going to be happening on the 2nd and the 3rd. We're going to be there early on the 2nd and try to film everything that we could before they let the rest of the people in. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. See you guys on the next one. Peace.